Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 1st of July, a brand new month. Where did June go? I don't know. Do you know? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? All right. I'm a couple hours late today, but I am here. Uh, we are. Killing three off-world security officers while being seen as little as possible. Uh, we supply our ex-off-world. None of those really make that much difference. We've got a con camera, but we can't bash dash. We've got a key cloner, and we've got a slipstream. But we can't... We have to use it using WASD. And we've got a brick that we can't brick from space. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, we can't remote brick. Well, we technically can. Just, if we are to brick, we have to be within range of the ship ourselves. So we could just, like, fly in and brick. Where are they at? Alright, that's too risky. If there's not a wall here... Uh, I guess this would be risky even if oh, we got telepad here so if this was not a Saturday we could brick the telepad and then brick them but it is a Saturday so let me double check okay we have to go through this whole thing that we're probably setting off the alarm Okay, beginning of three seconds, very nice. So yeah, I could just walk down here, throw a thing at you. Yeah, we got a key cloner. It's not really needed. If we set off the alarm, you're gonna be going up through here. So we don't need these keys at all. This key, this key could potentially be useful though. Yeah, we can make noise for keys. So go ahead and start off with this. Yeah, I really want the alarm to go off, so I need to make sure that you can see that. Oi. Yeah, you're doing this again. So is it that they were distract? Uh, I know we determined this at some point. But I can never remember the specifics of it. I think it's that they got distracted by one of the weapons. They got distract- they're distracted by this shotgun. And that interrupted their uh, reporting of the body. You can tell because they looked down after I threw this. So weird. Is that going to be enough to... Okay, okay, okay. That did it. That did it. I'm not sure what exactly part of that caused it to restart, but A, it did it. Okay, now the question is, do we go for this crate? This is ship one. We're waiting for the target to go closer to us anyways. And this isn't too far off. So we'll go for it. What do I want most? A sidewinder, I think. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, I'm gonna go and go up here. Knock them out. I want having more shotgun. 
is a good thing in my mind. Give you a bash. Give you a bash. Okay. Wow, target's moving so slow. Yeah, we need them to go down here anyways. Because these are... <laughs> these windows are our only way out. Sheesh. Um, uh, almost have key cloner back. Could shoot, but... Eh. Eh. Are we even close enough? We're not even close enough, so yeah, just wait for this to recharge. Come on, there we go. It's not a bad idea to go for this crate, I think. Especially, I don't feel like using a slipstream on this ship. Not entirely sure why, but I feel like I want to save them. So yeah, we'll let them continue walking this way while we get more treasures. I'll just ignore you. And we get a visitor that has its uses. I don't know if this saves much time at all. All right, and then we'll let you walk over here and then we'll bash you. Well, wait, 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 I'm dumb. I don't need to capture you, I just need to kill you. Wow. I'm now wishing I went for you earlier. But oh well. Yeah, for some reason I thought I had to get him out, but I just have to get me out. But that's very good. Alright. Uh, kill. Walk over here while we get the pod going in that direction so that we can then slipstream and do a run. Do a shot. There we go. Okay. I could see ways in which that goes faster. Especially if we went for the target earlier. The, the Sidewinder was great. Sidewinder's great. But after the Sidewinder, if we went directly for the target, we would have got the Slipstream earlier, which would have got us the visitor earlier if we chose to go for that one. Also, now that we've got a rechargeable slipstream, it would have been better to have used those other slipstreams earlier in that ship. So yeah, definitely ways to go that faster. Go that way faster. Okay, a bit of a smaller ship. Uh, with all the equipment I have now, there's almost no reason for me to do any bricking. We'll see if ship three is looking like extraordinarily long, but that's like a minimum of like 20 seconds, I think, to brick. Okay, so visitors possible on this one. Target's right next to a window, so it's not as relevant. Scrambler gates are annoying, but we can use Sidewinder to semi-bypass that. Uh, I don't see a reason for a visitor here. Um, let's leave it behind. Leave the extra slipstreams behind. And then these are all useful. And I'm not 
probably not getting more than a couple extra things. And if I do, I can just replace one of the shotguns. That's fine. All right, so run down. Let's see, which way do I want to go? Going down leaves me at a sketchy spot with the sentry gun. So I'm going to head heading this way. Now, I do need that key. Ooh, I almost screwed up there. I'm so close to this scrambler gate. Run past you. Grab this. And then go boop. Still got some of the slipstream left. Need to get close enough to take out your shield. More, more slipstream I see. Wow. Activate. Du, 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 du. I can pick up this safely, give you a shot. I'll pick that up because I can. Stash that because I can. And stealth shield, that is handy. That is handy. And then we go to you. Pick you up, to get it closer, and kill. Deactivate. And then we shoot, and we remote. I over corrected there. Wish I had one more sidewinder, but it's fine. That's fine. Five seconds to get out. Eight seconds total. That's 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 perfectly great. That is good. That is good. Quite happy with that. <laughs> yeah, that extra slipstream move really hammers in that it would have been preferable to use at least one of the slipstreams on ship one. Oh well. That was a strategy call that I made and it turned out to be wrong. Well, I don't know if the strategy was right or wrong, but the circumstances ended up being wrong. Okay, Predator. Predator could actually be something of an issue. I don't think we need wrenches when we've got conch hammer and so many slipstreams. we got nine slipstreams. We'll be fine. Apparently I wasn't paused. Okay. So this is tempting to do a brick. If the target... Where is the target? Target's right here here if they were on one of the side rooms it would be tempting to do a brick on this so you don't have to go through the whole thing but this isn't that large of a ship Bong. oh that was what if i accidentally bricked what if I was going fast enough that I accidentally bricked and took the target out? That would actually be amazing. That would be incredible. Kind of wish that happened. Oh well. Alright. Let's run down here. Don't have uh, blocked doors or crashed doors. So that's an easy key. That's maybe a clone that's an easy key this is a uh, I got stealth shield this will be fine this is the biggest worry but it'll probably be fine this key's a little iffy although if I can get it through here uh, depending on where you go I could do a visit over here and then maybe a sidewind over here if needed and that should be close enough to get me to the target, I think. Now, let's start running, though. 
We got five stealth shields. That's more than enough. Pick this up. <clears throat> Reinforcements coming in right there. That could be relevant. So I'll wait until now for the alarms to start coming off. Actually, I can prevent the alarm for a little bit. Get you actually... Uh... Yeah, okay. Couldn't get you in the range of the thing. But it's fine. I'm not too worried. All right. Uh, also go and pick up this, replace it with this, just so I have it on board. I didn't notice that they had glitch dash, so that makes getting all the keys very easy. Could go for that crate, but I don't need it. Okay, so I get flung off this way. I'm tempted to use the brick right now, just get it moving. But that's fine. It's fine without it. Slide a little bit for fun. Ooh, that jammer is actually a little annoying. So I will shoot just to distract him. Just in case. Uh, we can use another one of these. Over on the left is looking perfect. The predator luckily decided to go up. Which means I can do a visit straight down here. Oh, that jammer. That jammer. They be jamming. That is actually a pretty, pretty annoying spot for me. Especially since I just used the visitor. I can get the key, no problem. <clears throat> so if I did, so I'm worried about the jammer. It's only going to protect these four rooms. Well, these, all these rooms. So I just need to... <laughs> Okay, it'll be a little annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. This is a really good sidewind either way. And then this is the last key clone we need. And do I do another sidewind? Th that is actually a way out. All right, we'll do another sidewind, build up speed. Toss it along around here. All right. And then I want you guys to stop moving, and I also want to kill you. So I'll do a shot. Emergency shield doesn't matter. Pick up, drop. And kill. All right, so now while I walk to this place, we'll see if the... Hmm, that's actually... Oh, if that returns, that's bad. That is actually big bad. Um, okay, if I take a couple steps forward... I can save a tiny amount of time by doing a bash, I think. And then I was going to pilot the pod during this time, but uh, I think it's more important to be careful and precise here because that did not give me a ton of room. And now we can do something that's rarely ever relevant because jammers usually don't have time to get a, put, a thing out. But for those that didn't know, 
if you try to teleport into a jammer field, it sends you out into space. Which in this case is very good. Uh, I'll do a... Apparently that was on cooldown. Uh, I'll do a shot. Activate some slipstream. And then try and pick us up. I don't know why I tried to match speed there. That would be unhelpful. Now it's a little helpful. Okay. Okay, a little sketchy there at the end. I'm pretty sure I killed... Did I kill the target? Okay, the... The mission marker is pointing this way, so I did kill them. Wasn't positive that I stabbed him after I shot him. Okay. Yeah, 12 seconds. That is solid. Ship 2 especially was very good. For 8 seconds. Uh, ship 1 is the, time, is the ship that has the greatest amount of possible time. Just for the fact that using a slipstream there would have been great. Because we got so many more slipstreams. Didn't know that at the time, but I think it's reasonable to use like one slipstream per ship. And so if someone else did that, that could save a fair bit of time. Uh, let's see how it ended up. Oh, ho, ho, someone. Oh, someone did a brick. Someone did a brick. All right. Uh, well done, Razdal Baxter. Uh, yeah. Not many of us, I think, might just be me and 7-2. Not sure about anyone else that uh, does the Saturday challenge. Uh, yeah, you got a 600. You got a perfect style bonus today. That definitely took a, a little bit of luck with how the, the ships work. I don't think were any of the... I don't think any of the targets were guaranteed brickable. Let's see. Ship three would have been brickable from either side. I didn't pay close attention on ship one, but I think that one was pretty safe as well. But yeah, it took a little bit of luck, but it paid off. Uh, very nice job, Razdal Baster, getting a perfect... Time and perfect score. Very nice job. Love to see it. Uh, but yeah, had some fairly close times. Uh, I imagine a lot of those close times are due to the free slipstream at the beginning. If they used a slipstream at the beginning and then picked up another one, that does a lot to speed things up. But yeah, very nice job, Rassel Bachelor, for getting the perfect brick. Uh, all right. Yesterday, 7-2 beat me by two seconds. Getting 31 seconds and a 599. Very nice job for taking top spot. We have me coming in second, Rond in third, Heat Signature in fourth, and Razdal Badger in fifth place. Very nice job, everybody, for the top fives. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.